Anthony Dolivera. Since 2013, I am wandering around the world. Doing it as a black man gave me such a different perspective. Today, I would like to share with you what I am experiencing on the road. This is my story. Yo, what's up, guys? So, good morning from Tukman, a small city about 20 miles away from the border with Colombia. Today it is Friday, which means that I will be heading on my way to Quito, the capital of Ecuador. Anyway, for now, as usual, first step, I have to get to the edge of the town so this is what I am doing right now Welcome to Tukman I got here on Monday from Ipiales uh, I am not sure how is the situation about hitchhiking but I can tell you something, I have seen a lot of immigrants from Haiti, Venezuela, Africa, India, Bangladesh, here in Ecuador, there is definitely a lot of people passing by. Look at the landscape guys, what a beautiful landscape. I think from here to Quito, I got about 400 miles to go, so uh, hopefully I could make it today. So far, people seem to be really friendly, so I am loving it. And did you know that the local currency here in Ecuador is a dollar? nice man told me that if I keep on walking further down I will find a police checkpoint and maybe from there I could each a ride on my way to Ibarra so let's see how I am going to manage It is raining, so I am going to wait here for like a little while and then I will keep on walking toward my hitchhiking spot. Well guys, I think here could be a good spot to hitchhike on my way to Ibarra, first step. Dale para con permiso. Sí, sí, la tengo que buscar, es un control policial. Vaya. ¿Por aquí? Tenga la bondad, jóvenes. Dale. Voy hasta Ibarra. Documentos, pasport. de febrero 
right guys so this is where I will attempt to catch a ride on my way to Ibarra from here to Ibarra I think we got about 150 miles I just spoke to this nice police officer and he told me that it will be difficult to catch a ride maybe by luck someone is going to stop but uh, it is going to be difficult as usual I am going to try and I will let you know uh, once again there is like a lot of people from Venezuela Once again guys, there are a lot of people from Venezuela who are heading as well toward uh, Quito. So well, you know, as usual, I will see how it is and I will let you know. Peace! Guys, the weather is really funny, you know. It is raining a lot and suddenly it is starting to get hot. So this is where I am right now and hopefully at least I could catch a ride all the way to the peage which is I think uh, 30 miles away from here Hey, buenos dias! Buenos dias! Una disculpa! Yo soy de Francia! Yo soy como mochilero y voy hasta el peage solamente! Yo soy de Francia! Gracias, pa! Ah, vaya. Right now it is 12:15. So let's see how long I am going to wait before I catch my first ride. Catch a ride. All right, guys, so this is where I got dropped off, but apparently the peage is only two miles away from here, so not too far. And this is where I am heading right now. And I think once I will get to the peage, you know what it is going to happen. Aquí mis papá. Dale, gracias. I am currently in a peage. So you know what is going to happen. I am going to uh, sneak into a track and uh, hopefully I could travel all the way to Quito, the capital city of Ecuador or maybe Ibarra, which is two hours away from here Alright guys I think I cut a lift Well it is a shame to do that, you know, jumping without asking, but I feel that this is the only solution. So, here we go. So, here 
here we go guys on my way to I have no idea Let's go I'm not really sure where I am right now, but in this town, the population is Afro. Hopefully, I won't get kicked out, you know? What's up guys so welcome to Quito the capital city of Ecuador I got here yesterday from Tucman a border town with Colombia it took me about uh, six hours to get here as usual I had to sneak into a truck to uh, be able to move anyway I am really impressed by the landscape I have been traveling a lot, but you know, I am always getting surprised. So this is pretty much the capital city of Ecuador, Quito. And uh, yes, guys, the idea will be to uh, take you around. What a beautiful landscape, you know, it looks so unreal. Anyway, right now I am heading back toward the downtown. I am having some trouble to breathe, you know, because Quito is quite high, you know. I think it is about 3,000 meters. Hopefully today I could set up an exhibition. Uh, it is raining a little bit, you know, but hopefully it won't rain more. <sighs> Guys, I swear, I cannot breathe, you know. It is difficult for me to breathe. Anyway, this is it, guys. Welcome to Quito, the capital city of Ecuador. On Monday, I am planning to go to Santo Domingo, which is, I think, uh, two hours away from here. And uh, as well, I am considering heading toward the coast, you know, to have some contrast of the country. So this is one of the squares of Quito. And uh, you know, what else? It's not a camera, ma. Like I said, it seemed to be very quiet. Oh, anyway, I have to take a rest. I've been working a lot, you know. I was a little bit wrong. There is definitely a lot of people. But I think like this is the main square, so you know. Now I am pretty much looking for a spot to set up my exhibition. Hola, cómo estás? Soy Pablo Cisneros de Ecuador, la ciudad de Quito. Soy artista escénico y por ende también he tenido la suerte de recorrer eh, bastantes lugares, sobre todo en mi país. Y quería comentarte un poquito de la experiencia de lo que es eh, del viajero, del mochilero, como aquí decimos, jalar dedo. 
eh, hace mucho tiempo tuve la oportunidad de recorrer todo mi país haciendo esta actividad sin ningún inconveniente. La gente te subía tranquilamente en camionetas, en carros particulares, en, en camiones que llevaban carga, te podían tra eh, transportar. Desgraciadamente, hasta Hace unos 20 años atrás eh, hubo una oleada eh, de secuestros y crímenes en carreteras, cosas por el estilo, que, que prohibieron que la gente pueda viajar en camionetas y eh, eso obligó a que mucha gente deje de apoyar a los viajeros llevándolos. Todavía hay gente que te lleva en la carretera, todavía puedes viajar en, en camiones y cosas por el estilo, pero ya es más complicado, es mucho más difícil que antes y hay que tener más cuidado en cuestiones de seguridad también. Una de las cosas que más nos hace sentir orgullosos a los ecuatorianos es que somos plurinacionales y multiculturales. Eso quiere decir que dentro de este país que es tan pequeño y lleno de mestizaje, también tenemos muchas eh, culturas ancestrales, las cuales tienen su propia ideología, su propia endocicracia, incluso su propio idioma. Entre ellos el más conocido está el quichua, está el zafiki, está en las comunidades del oriente que son bastante importantes. Aquí en Quito tenemos una historia muy interesante con la que, en cuestión de lo que son nuestros antepasados indígenas, ya que justamente en esta calle, que es la García Moreno, se la conoce como la calle del Camino del Sol y después con la llegada de los españoles con la calle de las Siete Cruces. Aquí la historia cuenta que en todas las iglesias que se encuentran en esta avenida, anteriormente se encontraban ubicadas ciudadelas o templos de mucha importancia de nuestros antepasados. Estos podían haber sido o bien incas, que fueron los últimos que estuvieron aquí, pero que estuvieron muy poco tiempo. De ahí realmente nosotros somos Quito, somos Caras, eh, somos eh, Cañari, Shuaras, y todas esas comunidades tenían sus templos a la luna, al sol y de adoración para poder controlar lo que son las estaciones, los sembríos, las cosechas y todo lo que es la cuestión administrativa. Cuando llegan los españoles ven la importancia de esto y con los templos católicos y las construcciones bellísimas eh, que ahora constituyen, constituyen eh, un eh, patrimonio cultural de la humanidad, pues entierran prácticamente eh, estas, eh, estas estructuras matando o tratando de matar la cultura y se dice que abajo de todas estas estructuras eh, católicas se encuentran las estructuras ancestrales del Ecuador. Hola Anthony, mi nombre es Javier Moya y yo soy de Quito, Ecuador. Me gustaría que se acabe ya la guerra en Ucrania. Tú que estás andando en todo el mundo, por favor lleva este mensaje a Ucrania y Rusia. Hola Anthony, estamos en el sector colonial más hermoso de Quito, pero al mismo tiempo más corrupto, cerca de la Plaza Grande, por los cuatro puntos cardinales, la corrupción es grande, el Palacio Presidencial, el municipio, la Curia y la Iglesia de la Catedral. En este momento estamos en el sector de la arquitectura más hermosa posiblemente de América. ¿En qué sentido se ve la corrupción? En el sentido de que eh, están ahí las élites políticas, en el sentido de la administración pública. A nivel internacional se sabe que la política en Ecuador son las peleas entre los bandos políticos y el pueblo no tiene opción más que a vivir su democracia al rato de ejercer el voto. Mi mensaje para el mundo sería de que todos se unan porque la corrupción viaja internacionalmente por medio del sistema bancario. Entonces, un llamado a los países, llamados paraísos fiscales, a que colaboren con la gente que están viendo en este momento, en este centro histórico. Y no se hagan los diplomáticos mandando ayudas sociales a las organizaciones sin fines de lucro, sino que se ejerza la real justicia y política que debe ser mundial, humanística y social. También es este acuerdo que nos encontramos en el pleno centro histórico de Quito, que es considerado el centro histórico más grande y mejor cuidado de toda Latinoamérica. Su arquitectura, el sincretismo eh, español con eh, lo autóctono, hace que eh, su riqueza cultural sea tan importante que incluso somos catalogados de la primera, eh, somos la primera ciudad catalogada patrimonio cultural de la humanidad. 
Welcome to another day in Quito, the capital city of Ecuador. Right now, to be honest, I am just getting lost. I am just like uh, walking around. Today will be my last day in the city. Tomorrow I will be heading back on the road. Hopefully today I could show you different parts of the city. Yes guys, so this is where we are currently. Where's the upper? Guys, Quito is very hilly, you know. I am struggling to uh, walk. It reminds me a lot of San Francisco, in a way. I am not sure what is going on, but the streets are really quiet. Anyway, right now it is like almost 10 in the morning. So yeah, you know, I'm just like exploring around. I am totally getting lost, you know? And let me tell you that there is a lot of dogs everywhere. Buenos dias, Papa, buenos dias. ¿Cómo estamos? Let me tell you guys, there is a lot of dogs everywhere. Insane. Anyway, I think right now I will try to make my way back down to the city. And from there, I will take you around different parts of downtown. Because I think right now, I am where people live. Everything starts with a vision. Yo, what's up, guys? So, good morning from Quito. It is 8 in the morning, and uh, today I will be heading towards Santo Domingo. So, yes, guys, first step, first step of the day, as usual, will be to find the bus who is going to take me outside of the city. And from there, I could start hitchhiking on my way to Santo Domingo. Yes. Early morning in Quito, people are just waking up. I don't really know where I have to catch my bus on my way to Rio. But anyway. It is always a little bit tricky to get out of the city but you know, Quito is not so big so I think it won't be so difficult I made it outside of Quito so right now I am in a small city calling Tambillo and from here I will start my journey on my way to Santo Domingo so second step I have to find a spot to each act, but I think I'm gonna have to work for a while, you know, until I reach my hitchhiking spot. This is where I am right now at a gas station, and uh, yes, I am feeling pretty good, you know, because you know, I am always feeling better when I am outside of the big city, anyway. And plus, Ecuador is a safe country, so you know, I am feeling comfortable to record and I don't have to watch out so much, you know, but still I have to be careful. Guys, I ate so much food, you know. Anyway, right now, I will have to walk about 8 miles until I reach a decent hitchhiking spot on my way to Santo Domingo so this is where I am heading right now
tell you the truth, guys, Ecuador is a friendly place to travel. Even though hitchhiking is not really common, you know, but people are really nice. So this is where I am going to catch a ride on my way to Santo Domingo. Uh, people have different ways to use the term hitchhiking. La cola, mula, dedo, apiratia. Oh, I don't even know, you know, but there is so many ways to say hitchhiking here in South America. Anyway, guys, this is my hitchhiking spot. As usual, I will have to wait until I found a good track and from there I gonna have to jump in. Yes, you know. You already know how it is guys, you know. So, well, let's wait and hopefully soon I am going to catch a ride on my way to Santo Domingo. Here all the way to Santo Domingo, I got 90 miles, which is maybe one hour and a half. So you know, guys, the weather here in Ecuador is so tricky. You know, so you know, to be honest, it is raining a lot. You know, it is raining a lot, but sometimes it is like sunny, and sometimes suddenly it is like raining. You know. to cover myself with a plastic bag you know because it is raining quite heavily so you know hopefully it is going to stop further down because here in Ecuador I think there is a lot of micro clima which means that it is raining here but you know maybe in the next 10 miles it will stop raining you know so hopefully this is what it is going to happen anyway. This is my hiding spot. And you know, once I see a track, I gonna have to be fast, you know, because this is how it is, guys. Well, there is one there, but you know, I am not sure if like, this is a good one. Uh, well, let's see. Sometimes it's not worth it, you know, because from Quito to Santo Domingo, it is only a two hour drive, you know, but right now I am really, I am really dirty, you know. Guys, I think that if it keep on raining, I'm gonna keep on hitchhiking on my way to Menta, which is a city on the coast. Yes. The weather, like I said, in Ecuador is definitely tricky.
Guys, welcome to downtown of Santo Domingo. I got here yesterday around like 6 p.m. I made it safe to Santo Domingo. Anyway, this is pretty much the downtown of the city. Guys, the idea for today will be to head back on the road on my way to uh, Quevedo, and uh, yes, you know, I think right now I will get something to eat, and uh, pretty much I will go back on my journey. Right now, guys, I am walking toward the edge of the town. I think I got three miles until I reach the edge. And uh, after, I will have to walk, I think, maybe 10 miles until the peage. So, you know, that was pretty much the downtown and the city of Santo Domingo. Definitely much smaller than Quito, the capital city, but still a nice place. I am slowly making my way outside of the city but still I have to walk a lot you know anyway I am feeling tired I got a lift before the peage Yo, yo, what's up, guys? So, welcome to the downtown of Guaquil. I got here yesterday around 6 p.m. from Quito, the capital city of Ecuador. Like you can see, I am very tired, you know. <clears throat> the weather has been quite strange, you know. I think in about an hour, I will be on my way to Mashala, which is I think uh, three hours away from here, down south, really nearby, with the border with uh, Peru. Uh, yes, guys, you know, so this is where I am currently in El Parque. I am not sure how they call it, you know, but well, I am pretty much in the downtown of uh, Guayaquil. Before I take a move, I would like to show you different parts of the city, as usual. I am currently at the peage, and this is where I will catch a ride on my way to Mashala. I think from here it is about 3 hours away from here, so you know, this is my hitchhiking spot, guys. So this is pretty much the border right behind me between Ecuador and Peru. Yes, uh, a very interesting place. I am not sure if I will be able to record, you know, because, you know, in those kind of place, sometimes people don't like to be filmed, but uh, there is definitely a lot of stuff happening. <laughs> 